So let's talk about how right-wing media will respond to the whistleblower regarding the Hunter Biden, you know, the Biden crime family stuff. How will the left respond to it? Very obvious, especially liberal media. They'll be all over this. They'll be talking about it. It's a, this is this whole investigation. There's nothing to see here. Blah blah blah. Right? They have no interest in actually digging in and seeing if there's anything wrong that Hunter Biden might have done or Biden might have done. No interest whatsoever. Right? But this video is about what's happening now. Right? This was a breaking story. Right? Left wing media are already all over this. Um, I think as early as ten hours ago. What do we hear from right-wing media? Silence, right? So I'm talking about what's happening now. The story broke, left-wing media covered it, right-wing media is silent, right? So what can we expect? This news is inconvenient to their narrative. Their business model is attacking the left, um, attacking the Democrats on behalf of the Republican Party. It doesn't help the Republican Party to put their whistleblower in question, right? So. They need to keep this quiet. Um, if the story gets too big, which it probably is going to, they'll need to run a little bit of interference. So if I'm a dishonest right-wing media guy working for the GOP, this is my approach. Number one, don't say anything about it. Pretend not to see it. Continue talking about woke crayons and woke um, strawberries or whatever, right? That's number one. That's what's happening right now. Some will continue to do that. Some in right-wing media will not report on this ever. Maybe in a really long live stream, they might mention it for a few seconds, but you're not going to see a thumbnail. You're not going to see a title that's you know focusing on what's happening here, right? So that's approach number one. Approach number two, um, run interference. So what you need to do is obscure what actually happened, what the indictment says. Do not read the indictment. Do not talk about the indictment. Do not go into details about what he's charged with. If the whistleblower is a fraud, if there's good reason to question this whistleblower's integrity, you will want to conceal that from your audience. So talking about the indictment substance and details hurts that, right? So you don't want to talk about that. If you're really sharp, what you can do is put it up on the screen, potentially, put like a screenshot of like what's an indictment, but then don't actually discuss it. So technically, you did show what's in the indictment, right? Your apologist will say, no, they showed it, right? But you don't talk about it, right? Another thing is you could maybe talk about some of it, but not all of it. Or even if you talk about all of it, you do it really quick and then you move on. And the, the, the predominant um, focus of your video is running interference for the GOP, concealing anything that might potentially make this guy look shady, right? Because the GOP doesn't want that, right? If you're working for the GOP, you need to protect the, the character of this whistleblower, make them seem as legit as possible. So to do that, <clears throat> you need to, to conceal any of this stuff that's coming out in an in indictment. So if you do a whole video talking about um, other things, and we're gonna get into what those other things are, um, or covering this from a different angle, and a little piece, preferably at the end of your video, you might mention what's in the indictment, some of it or all of it, but you keep that really quiet, spend most of your time talking about other stuff, um, never really dive into the details, right? Then the message that your audience will get is whatever stuff you choose to focus on. But yet you have the ability to sort of no, I talked about it, right? So that's another approach. Now, <clears throat> the other strategy is what you want to do. So if I'm a dishonest right winger, um, another tactic that I might try is um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretty much focus on again running interference, um, coming up with a a counter narrative um, to sort of deflect from the things that look bad. So what's in an indictment looks bad. So avoid that. Instead, let's focus on the indictment itself being potentially partisan if you're literate political if you're not literate um so you say this is a partisan thing um you know they are basically attacking a whistleblower this is bad you know we need to protect our whistleblowers you know this is a warning message that democrats are sending so future whistleblowers that might want to tell the truth about biden they know if you say anything about biden they're going to come after you this is a weaponization of the doj like that's the stuff that i would use right Put that idea in the brains of my audience that I have a lot of control over because I've been pandering to them for quite a while, feeding them with, with this sort of um, emotional catnip. So they'll pretty much believe just about anything that I say. So I just talk about, oh, it's it's a political, it's a partisan thing. 
Um, they're just there, and then also the, the fear mongering. You know, uh, we must protect whistleblowers. Uh, you know, the 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 Democrats are the ones who talked about how you know protecting whistleblowers. Now all of a sudden, you know, they're going after a whistleblower, and we're supposed to accept this. This is ridiculous. They don't stand for democracy. They're just blah blah blah. blah. They're hypocrites. Blah, blah blah. Right. That's that's the narrative. Right. Oh my, they're attacking a whistleblower. Uh, and then the other thing is. You say, you can talk about also how come the whistleblower is getting indicted and then Hunter Biden isn't, right? Everyone else is getting indicted, but Hunter Biden, that's what you say. You say that the whistleblower is getting indicted and then also Donald Trump's getting indicted for this and for that or whatever. Meanwhile, Hunter Biden doesn't get indicted, right? Although he did, <laughs> but just not for the stuff that you want. But anyway, um, you can say Joe Biden didn't get indicted. You can say, well, you're not going to want to say Pence didn't get indicted. You'll just say Joe Biden didn't get indicted. Pretend like there was a classified documents, right? That Pence would classify documents, Joe Biden would classify documents, Trump would classify documents. But as a dishonest media guy, if I want to go that angle, I'm only going to mention the fact that that um, Joe Biden got caught with classified documents, no indictment. Trump gets caught with his classified documents, big indictment, right? Hunter Biden does all this stuff in a laptop and whatever. Uh, and no indictment specific to like the, what's all the laptop, the crime family, whatever. Meanwhile, a whistleblower who the Democrats claim we're supposed to protect, he gets attacked and indicted simply for exposing the president's son, right? Now, that's a narrative I just pulled out of my ass, right? I just said as a, as a fact that the whistleblower is getting attacked simply because he's calling out the, the president's son. I'm presenting no evidence to support that theory. I'm just simply saying it. And to a partisan right-wing audience, they won't pick up on that. They will just accept it and be like, yeah, man, this is crazy, it's political, whatever, 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 right? And then I'll get the engagement and whatever, and they'll share my video. And then when, you know, liberals are talking about, but look at this, the, the guy was at this and that, that, then they're basically going to repeat my words, right? I'm giving a narrative to my audience so that when they get called out by, by liberals or people on the left, they're just going to repeat what I said. Oh, how come this didn't? This person didn't get indicted? And also, don't you think it's suspicious, right? So that is what I expect in terms of the, uh, the covering of this. Now, if I were an honest person, not working for the GOP and right-wing media, um, I have a bias towards conservatism, um, but I have integrity. I will absolutely be reporting on this because um, uh, possibility I was reporting on this whole investigation into... Um, Hunter Biden. So to not go into detail about this latest breaking story about something I've been covering, that would be dishonest. If I've been talking about this, that means I have interest in this story. And if I have interest in this story, I'm going to cover all the breaking news regarding the story. So I'm absolutely going to talk about this if I were an honest right-wing media guy. So you look and see if anyone does what I'm about to say. Look and see if anyone does what I just described. Those are the frauds, those are the liars, those are the propagandists working for the GOP. Anyone who's honest in right-wing media, who has been covering Hunter Biden, you will talk about this in detail. You will say the, the, the whistleblower got indicted. You'll go through all these charges. Um, you will have a negative opinion about this in terms of, you know, this doesn't look good. This, uh, you know, this the, the type of guy that would be a, basically a Chinese agent, right, working for the Chinese government uh, as a right-wing channel, you probably ha have... Uh, um, uh, a lot of opposition to the Chinese government. So the idea that this guy can be tied directly to China would make you uncomfortable. So rather than talk about all this stuff and, oh, this is partisan or whatever, whatever, you're going to spend a good amount of time, again, going over the details of the indictment and voicing your your concerns. Like, this guy was in our race with the Chinese. Like, wow, this is not a good look, right? And you'll talk about why it's not a good look. You'll talk about all your negative feelings about China. And then you'll connect those people working with this guy Right. I know China wants to make, you know, wants to attack America, whatever, whatever. So if they're working with this guy, that makes me wonder if this whole Hunter Biden thing is nothing but basically the Chinese attacking us. Like that is the consistent, honest take from a right wing media person is to make that link. You really don't like China. If this guy is, is China connected, then you should be suspicious of him as you normally would be of anything China related. Right. Um, the other thing is. Uh, indicted for lying to uh, federal agents. Uh, I, don't know if, I don't know if they call them federal agents, but uh, I believe that's what it says. That's something, as an honest person in, in right-wing media, I would have a concern with because I'm like, okay, so <clears throat> this guy's saying all this crazy stuff about Hunter Biden, and now it looks like he's lying. And if the DOJ is trying to indict him for that, um, I mean, we're super corrupt as a country, but 
I, I, I doubt that they're just going to make stuff up because they need to prove it in a court of law, right? We have a lot of conservative judges. Um, I don't see how that would play out. So if they're making an accusation that he's lying to them, then there's a good chance he's lying to them. So that means, how can we trust this guy? Connected to China, major, major character blow, right? That's a major conflict of interest uh, to the country. And also lying to, 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 um, to the FBI. And he's an arms dealer? Like, what? Right. Um, I may also have concerns about. Um, I wonder if they're going to use this to protect Hunter Biden, to sort of distract and like let's focus on this guy's bad. Um, right. It's okay to have that concern, but for that to be your only concern, for that to be your focus, is to be a dishonest, lying fraud. Right. But I might have concerns about that. Um, I might have concerns about. You know, uh, I would suggest that it's unlikely that they would present this kind of indictment. And there's really nothing to it. Uh, saying it is one thing, but doing an indictment is a whole other thing. Um, but there's a potential theory of like doing this indictment, and then when you start investigating, you find out that no, he actually didn't lie to the FBI, and and uh, this Chinese agent thing actually is not for what you, see, you know what I mean. Like um, that could be a potential, but very unlikely. So I'm not going to focus on a very unlikely thing unless. It serves a narrative, and I'm being dishonest. And my goal is not to inform my audience. My goal is to keep them in an ideological bubble, right? But as an honest person, again, I would have a lot of concerns about this indictment and, and what this means about this whistleblower. If I was believing in this whistleblower before, I would now be at minimum on the fence in a major way, and I would not be shy about sharing that. I wouldn't just suddenly look. I don't know about this guy, and then spend a whole bunch of time talking about this looks like politicization. No, 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 that's not what I would do, right? And then I would want to, if I wasn't focus too much on it. I don't want to dig in now. You know, who is this guy really? And, 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 and try to try to see like, you know, how bad is this? Because it doesn't look good right now. That is the honest right wing media. So I don't believe we really have any honest right wing media. Um, in general, American media is very dishonest. So it's not a right wing issue. Uh, left wing, right wing doesn't matter. The for profit business model, um, you know, whether you're corporate or independent is very toxic, very dishonest. Um, it's, it's all about pandering to your audience, um, you know, but that being said, um, I would really, really want to suggest to you that, um, you know, both a lot of dishonesty, left and right wing media, but at least you have much more honesty in left wing media. And you have some left wing media, very rare, but you have some of them that are that are that are usually honest, that are generally honest, right? I don't know of any right wing equivalent. Every single right wing media channel that I'm aware of is pretty much extremely dishonest right wing propaganda. Ben Shapiro, Stephen Crowder, Newsmax, Blaze TV, um, and on and on and on. Tim Pool, liars and frauds, right? Left wing media might. I shouldn't say might. Left wing media absolutely would report on certain things that support their narrative, don't report on things that don't support their narrative, so lie through omission. But right wing media will overtly push things that they know are not true on a regular basis. Left wing media, the closest they get to that is if they've been pushing a narrative that later we find out is actually incorrect, you know, they refuse to or don't have the strength to back down from their position. So they try to move the goalposts and be like, well, you know, we were just waiting for more evidence, right? And then they'll hold on to it. Like, there are people who will never change their Kyle Rittenhouse takes. Even if you confront them directly with like, listen, there's all this information that you guys didn't report on. It seems you're not even aware of. They will never, ever, ever be like, you know what? Wow. No, not going to happen. But that is not as bad as overtly pushing something that, you clearly don't believe it. You can see your body language. You can see the ridiculous stuff that you're saying from the get-go, right? Not a matter of you're in your little bubble and you were saying stuff that everyone was saying in your bubble, you know, and then later on you find out more information and you're like, mm. no, from the get-go, you are out there knowing that what you're saying is not true and you're just out there pushing it. More likely in left-wing media, they will be pushing something that's not true through ignorance. Obviously, there's very dishonest people in left-wing media, just like any media. So there's some people who will will potentially push lies overtly in the beginning. But generally speaking, a lot of their lies come from the echo chamber, right? And then when the truth comes out, a refusal to man up, woman up, and be like, listen, man, I was wrong about this. You know, it's double down. It's, uh, you know, move the goalpost. 
and somehow try to retroactively be like, you know, hey man, um, we're waiting for more information and we don't want to jump to conclusions and all this kind of nonsense. Um, but that's my expectations. What are your thoughts? This is the baby channel, the baby comment section below. Click on the like button, subscribe, smash that bell, be well. Pay attention. See who in right wing media covers it the first way that I described. Remember all those tactics and techniques and see if they use them, right? And ask yourself, how is it that I was able to predict so accurately what they did beforehand? What is it that I'm aware of that you aren't, right? See if there's anyone at all who does the opposite approach, which is again, lean in, look at what the indictment says, have concerns about things that show consistency, right? If you have a lot of issues with China, and now the main whistleblower is China connected, right? The consistent thing is to be bothered by that. Like, whoa, I don't want to be getting my information from China, com uh, communists, or so whatever, how you describe them. I don't, want, I don't want to be getting information from, from, from our enemy. Maybe you see them as an enemy, but definitely as a conservative, you're going to have a lot of issues with China. So, I mean, that should really bother you. So that should, that should be a significant focus in your coverage of this. Um, see if anyone does that. I don't expect anyone at all to cover it that way. And if that is the case, that is, again, more and more proof of my assessments being accurate, that we do not have honest right-wing media. This is not a, uh, an attack on conservative ideology. This is an attack on the media. Even if you believe in conservatism, you think that's the best way, that does not explain or excuse the fact that we don't have anyone who believes in your ideology, in the media, who will be honest about it. And you have to ask yourself why that is. Why is it that there's no one with integrity who is willing to be the champion of your ideology in the media? Right? Anyway, those are my thoughts.